Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I'm joining you today from my kitchen table and there is glitter everywhere. My husband's going to seriously be upset tonight when he um, comes upstairs from, from work because there is glitter dust everywhere. Anyways, on this quick video, I'm going to show you a couple of things, just a little preview and then we will actually do these projects in detail. I'll show you step-by-step step how to do them. But for today, I'm gonna to show you how to make these clothes pin snowflakes. Uh, in a future video, very soon, I'm gonna show you how to make these stuffed ornaments using this cute stencil from Magnolia that um, has three different ornaments on them. Whoops. And I've only done one so far, so I'm planning to make a whole set of them and then I'll show you how to do it. This is just that canvas that I bought at Walmart. I will also be showing you how to make this cute little village scene. This is one of those cake plate things that you can flip over and turn into a punch bowl as well, and I absolutely never use it. So this year I decided to get it out. I bought some of those cute little silver metal houses that are sort of a Nordic look. And then um, this morning I stenciled Santa Claus and his reindeer with this stencil also from Magnolia, some white chalk paste, and then I poured my favorite Sulin glitter in extra fine silver over the top of the wet chalk paste and it stuck in there. Let me pull this a little bit closer to you. So I just thought for a change that I would come live here from the kitchen. Look how cute that is. Isn't it darling? So let me push this off to the side so I have room. And I will also be showing you guys in the very, very, very near future, like within a few days, how to make this tree topper that I just made out of paper plates, rolled up sheet music, hot glue, one of these little um, wooden snowflakes, some more of that glitter, oodles and oodles of hot glue, and um, I'm going to put it on my tree for now because tomorrow I'm going to give you a little tour of the things that I've made that are on my tree. Also coming in the very near future, I'm going to show you how I just used some little, some of these little um, wood cutouts from Dollar Tree and again that glitter to make more cute ornaments for my Christmas tree. So that's what's coming up in the very near future. And now let me show you what I have going on today. Um, okay, and I'm hoping that you can see, I kind of feel like maybe I want to pull my iPad a little bit closer. So hold on, I haven't done a live out here in a long time because it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a hassle to drag everything out from the craft room out here. Uh, let's see, is it gonna work? Where did I find the, let's see, what was that question? Where did I find the sheet music? Okay, my sheet music all came, and I don't know where, oh, it's right here. It came from just this book of music that I bought at Goodwill last year. And it's nothing fancy. It's Johannes Brahms piano pieces. And it came in a collection, so there were like three books. And I got it for like $3. It was a total steal. The second I saw it, I always look for music and old books and stuff like that when I'm at Goodwill. The second I saw it, I grabbed it. I was like, oh my gosh. I hit the sheet music jackpot and it's beautiful sheet music. Look how pretty this is. Whoops. Anyways. Um, okay, so let's go back to the clothespins. This is such a cute idea. You can use regular size clothespins. I'm not sure where I am <laughs> located on this video because I haven't filmed out here in so long. Um, and I feel like I wanna turn off that light behind me. I will in just a second. Anyways, you can use regular size clothespins or you can use these little mini ones from Dollar Tree. 
Just to make it easier for right now, I'm going to show you how I did this using the regular size ones. And this is the first one. It has one of these Dollar Tree snowflakes with glitter in the center, and then I glittered the points of these. Um, this one has another one of those Dollar Tree snowflakes in the center, but I used gold glitter, and honestly, you guys, tell me in the comments what you think. You can't hear me very well. Uh-oh. Hmm. I, I don't know. Can anyone else hear me okay? What I was about to say is that I did the gold and the silver. They're identical except for the color of the glitter. And personally, I like the silver much better. But I don't know what you guys think. Tell me in the comments, which one do you like better, silver or gold? Okay, and then this is the same idea, except it has a little um, piece of Dollar Tree cookie tin in the center. And then it has a Christmas tree that I glittered from Dollar Tree as well. So, how do you make these? And you don't have to use glitter. You don't have to put anything in the center of them if you don't want. Um, so, we're just going to take some of these inexpensive um, clips and we're going to pull them apart. And then, I haven't figured out what we can do with this piece yet. But, we're going to pull a whole bunch of them apart. And there's one, two. You're going to make six points. Is that right? No, eight points, sorry. So I'm just taking them apart. It takes no time at all. These are all I have left, so I hope I have, because I have like four other ones out, on, out here on my tree already. Um, silver, you like the silver better. I do too. I really like the silver better. So I have... <laughs> I have been using glitter all day and I just looked in the bathroom and I had so much glitter in this eyebrow that I took one of those um, lint rollers <laughs> and I went over my eyebrow and I think I still have glitter in it. Oh well. Okay, so I'm just taking all of these apart and then I'll show you how you quick, they come together super quick. We're going to do the whole, whole shebang. And then I'm probably going to have to clean up here because, oh my word, it's a disaster. Anyways. Hey, did you guys see the videos that I did yesterday? We made um, those super cute etched glasses that had uh, wreaths and um, had cheetah pattern. And then I also made those trees, that tree trio thing that had the, the um, nativity scene on one side and then on the other I used a, um, a stencil and some gray chalk paste. They turned out super cute. Okay, so I have all of these taken apart. And all you need is a glue gun and some glue. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to put them back to back. So can you see what, let me hold my fingers down here like this and you're just going to glue them. So I found that the easiest thing is just to put a dot, like two dots on it. Whoops. Pull your pieces together. They don't have to be perfect and then squish them. And there we go. Turn this light thing here off. Is that better? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we need to crank out a bunch of these. When I first started making these, I was trying to get them to be all completely perfect, completely even. And then after I assembled a couple of these, I realized that it really doesn't matter. So don't sweat it. And some of the clips that I'm using are different sizes. Here's a perfect example. <laughs> this one here is a little bit bigger than this part, but that doesn't matter. So let's just crank these out. Let's see, I'm just whipping them out here. There are some other fun things that you can do with these. 
and um, I will see when I can squeeze that into my busy crafting schedule, but I have so many good things coming up. I really hope that you guys are planning to join me for lots more Christmas gifts and lots more Christmas decorations and just all kinds of fun and easy and sort of unusual DIY projects. This morning, um, I stayed in my bathrobe out here crafting until almost 11 o'clock. I felt so guilty. Because I did get up early, and I didn't sleep great last night. But, um, but usually I'm, I'm, you know, not in my bathrobe at 11. That's terrible. But I was so busy doing all these crafts and getting everything all set up that time just flew by. Oh, the sacrifices I make for you guys and for me. I don't see any comments. Oh, here we go. Let's see, it looks like there's 200 people on roughly. Hey, if you like the kind of projects that we do here at DIY Dreaming, um, I would love it if you would sprinkle this video. Um, and if you have friends that love crafting, tell them about the kind of projects that we do here. They're, they're pretty much always super simple. Um, they are quick to complete because I have a short attention span. They're super affordable. A lot of times I'm repurposing things and using, um, reusing things or using things in a different kind of way that are super duper affordable, like clothespins um, and sheet music. Um, and, oh, and they require absolutely no crafting abilities or artistic abilities. So if you like those kind of things, and you have friends that like those kind of crafts too, tell them about this. Okay, so now I'm gonna start my little star by taking two of them and just putting them nose to nose. I'll lift it up in just a second and show you what I'm talking about. All right. Then you want to add one at the very top. I'll pick it up and show you. Just so it's, see what, what I am doing here? Okay, and then we'll do one on the bottom. And you're just going to put some glue, like a big clump of it, on the very tip top of your clothespins. Okay, and then we're going to put one up here, 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 and here. This is totally my kind of craft. And these also look great on my Christmas tree because I'm going with this snowflake theme and it's all, it's almost all this natural wood color with little touches of silver and mercury glass. And um, I put some of the, the pulled string burlap flowers that we made on there. I put a lot of those champagne cork tassels on it. I've made, I would say, 98% of the stuff on it. Obviously, I didn't make the tree or the lights. <laughs> but, okay, so here's our little snowflake. You can't see my hands working. Dang, I just... So maybe that will be better. I'm not sure. Let me go flip this light off in the background and in the hall. I could get untangled from my glue gun. I don't know if that's better. You feel bad with all the work I'm going through. Oh my gosh, did you guys see the pictures that I posted earlier? The house is starting to come together uh, on Monday. I'm having this disgusting carpet pulled out of the craft room. It's got so much 
stuff spilled in the carpet. And I'm just getting plain hardwood floors put in there. And then Monday, e late afternoon, Tuesday and Wednesday, they're gonna sand and varnish the wood floors in the craft room. And then these wood floors that we had installed over here that go up the stairs and onto the landing. So I'm gonna be out of my craft room for at least three or four days. So I'm gonna to have to figure out what we can do because I wanna still craft, but we might be at a hotel. I just don't know you like my sparkly sweater. Thank you, how do you feel about my sparkly face and my eyebrows? I can see sparkles here. Okay, so somebody is saying, Deborah's saying she's made several of these already and she loves how they turned out. Okay, so then I think what really makes these special is the next step. And that is, wait, I still need this. Okay, that is what you put on the center of it. And I'm just gonna open this. I just picked these up at Goodwill, or not at Goodwill, at Dollar Tree because I was out. And I'm gonna use one of these. And it has this little, I don't know what this thing is, a little uh, glue dot or something on the back of it. I'm going to pull that off. I suppose I could probably leave that on there, but I'm going to pull it off and put a blob of hot glue in the center of my snowflake. I'm going to stick this on. And I'm, I'm trying to line it up so that it's, they're all pointing the right direction. Does that make sense? I'm now remembering why I don't like recording with my iPad. It's because I don't know where to look. Do I look on this side or on this side? Um, I don't know where my hands are when I use this. It's funny. Okay, so this is cute. I mean, it really is. Um, where's my... When I did these, all I did was just use a little piece of jute string. Let's do that right now. On the back to... Hold it on and I'm just going to tie a knot on the end of this. These are the actual jute strings that come when you buy the little wooden ornaments at Dollar Tree. I, I never throw anything away. I use everything. You guys probably think I'm such a cheapskate. I'm really not. I'm just, I don't can't stand the idea of things going into a landfill or, you know, just thrown out that could be used. And so I just hang on to stuff until I can figure out a way to use it. Okay, so I just put a little hot glue on the back of this to attach that. And what I think is super cute is to add the glitter. So let's do that next. I need a paper plate. Okay. We're going to have to use this one. Okay, and all I'm going to do um, is just use some plain old Mod Podge and a stiff brush. And I'm going to throw a bunch of Mod Podge on this center snowflake. So if you guys have made these snowflake ornaments using clothespins already, I would love to see what they look like. So share them here in the comments and say yes, I've made them or something. Now I'm going to add a little bit on the point of each, each little arm of the snowflake. You could do the whole thing too if you wanted, but I just want just a little hint of silver glitter. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the, this glitter that I like the best, the silver and not the gold. They both came from Walmart. They were like under $5 a piece. And we're just gonna pour a whole bunch of this on here. And then I'll show you my fancy trick for not wasting a single glimmer of glitter. 
So I've just got it on there pretty thick. Yeah, I'm just opening up our little glitter thing. Look how awesome that looks. Isn't that so cute? So, clothespins, and I'm sure you can get this size or this size at Dollar Tree. Um, these little wooden cutout things, glitter and hot glue, and, and a little bit of um, twine to hold it. Super easy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fold my plate in half, and I'm gonna essentially dump all of my glitter back in my little container. And this will last me a good six months. Not that it was expensive that I need to really be concerned about that, but. So that was pretty darn easy to make. Um, let's see what else did I wanna show you. I have some other things I'm working on over here. These are some just little wood coaster ornaments that I made using the Magnolia Christmas quads and a gray chalk paste and a, just a hint of glitter. This one says a child was born. This one says silent night. This one says deck the halls. And then this one is just one of the snowflake stencils and I haven't finished all of them, but I'm just going to string them with some twine and a couple of little wood beads. And these are a going to be perfect on my tree. So in case you joined us late, coming up, I will show you guys how to make this tree topper. It came together in 45 minutes from start to finish. I probably used 15 sticks of hot glue <laughs> and probably, I don't know, 15 book pages out of my, um, my Brahms, Johannes Brahms piano pieces, sheet music. And then um, I'm also coming very soon going to show you how to make these stuffed ornaments using these cute stencils from Magnolia Design Company. These cost nothing. Um, I bought one yard of canvas at Walmart for I don't know, $4.98 a yard or something. And I have made so many different things with it. So these I just think are super cute. I love stuffed ornaments. And I'm going to make a bunch of these. I think I'll put in the comments a picture of this stencil set so that you can see there's three different shaped ornaments that I just stenciled on the canvas. Then I cut around it. Then I used that to cut another piece, stuffed some pillow stuffing in there, hot glued it together, and put some glitter on it. And then we'll also do, where are they? Some more just different little glittery Dollar Tree ornaments that are in this theme for my tree. And we'll do the, um, the glass cake dome with Santa Claus and his reindeer and glitter. And I have lots of good stuff coming up. Okay, well, I have been sort of off my game for this whole video because I haven't used my iPad in so long that I haven't seen anyone's comments. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop off and I will read everything you guys wrote. If you had questions, I'll answer. If you wanted links to any of the stencils or anything from Magnolia, just let me know. I'll probably drop... Uh, well, I can't drop a pin now. It's too late. But I will put... Um, my Magnolia website link a couple places in the comments. And if you feel like sprinkling, I would love for you to do that. And um, I'll get pictures, put them in the comments here and also on the page. And um, if you haven't already liked, this is my last thing. If you haven't already liked and followed DIY Dreaming, and you think that you're gonna wanna see some of these things that I have coming up, um, take two seconds and go up and like and follow DIY Dreaming, and then take another second to give me a thumb or a heart or to say something real or silly in the comments um, so that Facebook will see that you must like what you're seeing here because you're engaging and they'll um, serve you my next video. So take a second to do that. 
and thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow morning. We're going to do the Christmas tree. And you guys, I made nearly everything on it. It's completely different from what I did last year too, because last year I just did black and white and a lot of um, black and white gingham is my theme. This year, it's it's this is the perfect description for my tree. It's all kinds of stuff with Bible verses and embroidery hoops and um, pulled burlap pulled string flowers and it's really cool. I can't wait to show you. So uh, look for me tomorrow and I will just see you later. Thanks for joining me.